Now, the year started off with so much promise, but less than a weekend, well, it went off the rails when a bunch of tourists showed up for a field trip in D.C., hoping to meet with their congressman and hang with Mike Pence. Hang with Mike Pence or hang Mike Pence? Oh, my God. Let's take a look at this white hot mess. Oh, look at this. This is when they acted a fool, January 6th. I look remember this. this like yesterday. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this just, shit. Just madness. What are you doing? Taking over the Capitol. Look at this dumbass. Look at you. What you gonna do? He got a bongo in his arm. Bravery. <laughs> He's got a bongo <laughs> on him. This, this really makes you just think like, I what, want him to fall. What the fuck are you doing, man? I need somebody to fall, Kevin. It's not <laughs> look, right. Look at this. Look at this idiot. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Come that, on. That was an Olympic highlight for your ass. <laughs> Don't you lose your grip. God damn. There was one true hero that day, Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman, who led the mob away from the Senate chamber, wrote a clip. Don't you come up. Don't you come up, boy. <laughs> Boy, boy, you see this little stick? Got, all right, I'm that motherfucker get bigger every time it hits your head. Hey, don't you go further. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> get your ass back, bitch. <laughs> see, that was the smartest move he made right there because it was political people in that room, and he knew that he had to determine to go this way. That was the smartest move right there. See, that's he from the streets because he knew how to psych them mm -hmm. out. They ain't even pay attention in that room. They steady following him. That was a great, great strategic move. Yeah. He better than me. I would have got him off my ass. I was like, that's who you want. You want the people in there. Go that way. <laughs> that's exactly what I would have did. Yeah, that man trying to be a hero. Sometimes you got to worry about yourself, man. That's a fact. I think that clip would be way more gangster if we reversed that. Look at him now. You Get your bitch ass out of here. Huh? What would I say? I got this stick. Crack your head, cuz. Get your motherfucking ass out of huh? here. Right what? now. You back, back up, up, boy. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got this. Don't even worry about what's going on out here. Y'all just stay in there. I got this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. on back in there. I'm gonna run these motherfuckers out of here. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna backpedal and make niggas back. get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, kiss my ass. That's what y'all gonna do. Everybody. By the way, that's one of those moments where you really look around and you got the feeling to go, why did I take this job? <laughs> like, when all those people standing there, you look and realize you're the only one. He been the only one there for years. He been the only one there for years, and it's been the best job ever, because nothing's ever happened. No. On that day, he was like, ain't this about a bitch? He's like, Man, where Charles at? Charles he kept doing. He here. kept doing this, too, pushing that little thing, <laughs> with nobody on the other he, end. Nobody, <laughs> nobody. He kept, he kept doing this. When I said, all right, hey, Charles. <laughs> hey, Charles. What, nigga? I'm at McDonald's. Uh, no, hey, Charles. <laughs> Charles, I need you to act like you in the other room. Back. What you want, nigga, number five or four? Yeah, I need no, you to get your black ass back. <laughs> Back up here. <laughs> hey, 